Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. Today we're gonna do something a little different here on my channel. We are going to review a bag that was sent to me, there it is, <laughs> a bag that was sent to me that is under $300. And so I thought, why don't we just do something a little bit different because typically I'm unboxing all of these expensive bags and I'm trying to um, be mindful that there are people that just don't wanna spend that on bags and that is realistic and that is cool. And so when this company reached out to me to send it, I thought, you know what, let's just give it a try. Let's see. So without further ado, let's get into this bag. Um, this is the packaging that it came in from um, FedEx and it arrived maybe been about two weeks or a week or two. And so um, we'll start off with the fact that this packaging is not exactly the same as like my other Dior bags. So to be honest with you, the packaging is a little bit different. Uh, but if you don't care about that, then keep watching because it is an affordable option. So here is this. And let me know down in the comment section below what you think because I um, don't typically do this on my channel. And so I just wanted to like see what this is all about. And here is the packaging that it came in. It was wrapped very nicely and so, I thought, you know what, let me just show something uh, that is in the affordable range so that everybody has an option. It comes with these um, paperwork, which I will have that in the description box for you. It came with a bow, which uh, the bow looks a little bit different than what I, I'm used to. But here is the dust bag. Now, to be honest with you, because I do own 100% authentic Dior's, this dust bag is not correct. This one is made for the Lady Dior bag. So the company that sent this, the dust bag needs to be fixed. Like it would be like Dior and like um, gold or uh, silver and it would not have the swan because that's for the Lady Dior. So just a kind of little review there. But here is the bag that they sent me. Ta-da! Now this bag, if you probably have already seen on my channel, I owned this bag authentic and I sent it to Fashion File and they gave me an amazing quote. So I did sell it because I wasn't using it. So when the company reached out to me to send this bag in a different color, I had it in the tan, um, like camel color. It was gorgeous, but I only carried it like once to the mall. So when the company had sent me this one, which is just under $300, I was like, let's take a look at this and like compare because I had the authentic one, which was like $3,800 or $4,000 or something like, I think $3,800 maybe 2800 somewhere around there so i wanted to like check out the quality of this now as you can see this is like a like taupey uh cool undertone brown whereas the one i had that i sold to fashion file is a brown like a uh, warm tan but I, when i opened this honestly it was all wrapped up in plastic and it was um wrapped really well and i was like First of all, I showed it to my husband and he was like, what? He's like, you had a $3,000 bag and now you have a $300 bag. And he's like, what's the difference? And I'm like, well, there's slight differences obviously in packaging and things, but I was like, this feels like my other one that I just had sent off. So I wanted to share with you guys because I'm not like, um, you know, I'm not trying to like tell anybody what to do, but I'm like, wow, this just gives me like that pause. I have to think like, this is really well done for under $300, like completely. I think it was 278 plus shipping, but this is the back. There is a back pocket, as you can see. I want you to see the stitching and the logos, like wow. I mean, this is something that you guys need to be mindful of. And that's another thing with Fashion File and all those other sites. Be careful because something like this, honestly, I would not be able to tell that this was any different than um, my other bag completely, to be honest with you. This is the stitching on the side. Look, look at this. The glazing, the stitching, the logos. It's very um, cloudy today. I was trying to show you guys with bright lights, but this is like the correct bronze heavy duty logo. And this is the glazing on the strap but look at the stitching. 
everything I'm trying to find like an imperfection and I don't find it like I think this bag was done extremely well and I'll show you the inside you are supposed to wear it I'm not sure if you're supposed to wear it long way or short way but this is the long way where you have the CD here this is the side profile I'm pretty sure you're supposed to wear it with the short like this yes this is how you're supposed to wear it so you have the CD here you have the profile on the side and then on the back you can see the CD as well like legit guys these things are really good and kind of scary because I don't want to spend three thousand dollars on something that is three hundred dollars so I'm just doing this for informational purposes and entertainment purposes obviously I'm not selling anything uh, here is the inside there is like a suede lining. I did not finish taking the plastic off of the zipper. One thing with these bags is it seems really hard to take off the plastic. Like there was a lot of plastic. But I just want you to see like crazy. And then on the inside, it says Dior made in Italy. Dior, Dior Christian Dior Paris made in Italy has a date code. And let's see what fits. It's been a while. It's been a minute since I owned my uh, saddlebag. So let's use my mini pochette because that is kind of my catch-all. And this is a small bag. I don't even know if that's going to take up everything because the way this bag is built. Do you see if you put a mini pochette in the bag, it takes up quite a bit of space. So what I'm thinking is to use a, like a key pouch. I'm using the key pouch as a wallet and put that in there with um, cell phones going to go on the outside pocket. This is an iPhone 11. So let's see if that will, you see the iPhone 11 and even bigger can fit in this back pocket there. Uh, let's see. What else do I normally take? I usually take my um, AirPods, those, um, some hand sanitizer. And today's lipstick of the day, lipstick, sanitizer. And then let's see if my sunglasses case will fit on top. Yes. So what I did was a key pouch and AirPods and sanitizer and a lipstick. And do you see how that fits inside? So really you can't use a full size wallet with this bag, as you guys know, cause I have done videos on my other one. Got a little bit heavy there, but what do you think? Like, wow. <laughs> I'm honestly blown away at this company and this quality. And that's, it's just, it's crazy to me. Uh, they did send this to me in full disclosure, but obviously um, I am not making anything or selling anything. So I am just sharing with you what I have here and to be honest with you I don't see any difference from my other one which is like it blows my mind that this is even available so they do have it in black and they had it in tan and I was like you know what I have a lot of black bags um, I think the bag I honestly if you gave it a grade I would give it an A plus like I really think the bag is on point I think it's gorgeous uh, the bag definitely I think the only thing that I think is incorrect is the packaging and the dust bag uh, They but nobody you carries that around to be honest with you So I'm gonna throw those in the trash and I'm gonna keep the bag because the bag is really cute and um, So I just wanted to share with you guys because like I just can't believe how cute this is And use it on the side too so anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys, uh, thank you to the company that sent it to me. That was really kind of you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know down in the comment section below, would you get a $300 Dior bag or would you go ahead and spend the 3000 Because that's what I originally did and I put the money in other things. So I just have this and I'm kind of like okay with that so that's my personal opinion you can have yours but I wanted to share with you because this is like a first time doing this on my channel and so I hope you guys have a great day take care bye bye